Hello and welcome back everybody. So we're going to go ahead and probably just in turn right away. We just took Athens in our last episode and in this episode we're going to continue the fight against the Greeks. I'm not quite ready to declare war against uh, Macedon Macedonia. We'll hopefully keep our relations good with them for now. We uh, I got $761. I wonder if I should get a Hastati and I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright, so we still have their faction leader, but uh, I'm not quite ready to move out of Athens just yet. We probably need some more infantry, I think. I can't get that here just yet. Let's start off by moving my spy into Sparta. Take a look at Sparta. 6,000 population. They've got their Spartan hoplites, who are one of the most powerful units in the game if not the most powerful so definitely have to be careful of him he's also got this very large force with a lot of hoplites I might be able to in order to counter those hoplites I might have to go with more cavalry so let's go ahead and build another equites I can't cross Corinth so I may need some boats but I'm supposed to blockade this for the mission. I'll go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do a trader in Tarentum. And Croton, I want to build... Um, we'll go ahead and get the mines and start getting some work on our income a little bit. And these guys, I won't be able to cross the river. Actually, you know what? Um, let's get a boat so that I can cross the river next turn. So I'm going to stick Aulus Brutus in Apollonia for another turn, and then um, we've got Hoplites. I don't know what else their other unit is, but I actually might be able to take him on with just one Hastati. Actually, I can bring both generals. And uh, okay, it's just Ilian mercenaries. Um, and then Militia Hoplites. We should be able to take that with two generals, but we'll have to wait another turn. I think I can get, um, I only need one peasant army in Apollonia, so we can move those guys out. Uh, do I want to march across, I don't want to fight Macedon, Macedonia, so I don't know, I didn't necessarily want to cross their territory just yet. And we do have a Greek navy I have to be aware of. So, Thurman. Oh, I can't really build anything. I don't have any money. Uh, unfortunate. I should maybe reduce the number of troops that I'm building. But I don't need this equites. Let's just not worry about that. We'll get uh, this group in Athens here. Athens can go ahead and get a peasant. Okay, that should get us quite a bit more money. We're going to go ahead and end our turn. Okay, they want us to blockade Padavium. Uh, that won't be necessary. So our Senate mission was successful. How's our relations with the Senate? Let's take a look at the Senate floor. So we're doing really well with the Senate. Uh, we completed those missions so we finished that mission let's get our fleet back here and uh, I want to get this unit of Velites going so we've got the temple of Aphrodite I'm gonna go ahead and demolish it we'll get the shrine to Mercury that will help with trade goods in Athens and I will recruit another peasant, but we're going to move a lot of this military out of here. I'm going to merge all my Hastatis. I'm going to chase this peasant down with these two generals. Oh, I have to wait another turn, unfortunate. Do I want to move this army out of Athens just yet? We'll wait one more turn, keep them on the high tax rate. 
We got a little bit of money, so let's go ahead and build some stuff. We'll get the trader for Salona and Thurmond. We'll get a farm. So because the population of Athens is so low, we'll go ahead and get a Shrine to Juno instead of Shrine to Mercury. Try to get Athens to grow a little bit. It's a pretty big city. But I'm going to go ahead and end our turn right now. Uh, they want a ceasefire, which I do not want to do. So I'm going to decline that. We got a very large Macedonian army over here. I really hope Macedo Macedonia doesn't come and fight me. Uh, these rebels are not on our land. I'm not going to worry about them right now. They're not blocking any trade routes. Let's get Orders. these generals get back. Orders. We'll get him into the city. Move, and I guess Orders. I can't really move this guy any. Sir. Just move a Orders. little bit. Out of move, sir. And then get uh, we'll ready. try to uh, blockade um, aye, aye, Padavium if move, we can. Sir. They've got they might fight it out over here, and if the July can win, they'll probably take the city. They got more equities, and who knows what else? I know they had a town watch. All right, we got a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and build something in Athens. We'll get the Temple of Juno. I'm going to build an Equites. You know, I'm thinking uh, Macedonia is about to attack. So there might be trouble here. But let's go ahead and get this army on the move just in case. Maybe I should leave a Hestati in here as well. A full Hestati. Okay, we'll leave one full Hestati. We'll get this Velites into Thurmond. And we'll get our fleet here. I'm going to go ahead and get a Sewers in Tarentum. And in Croton. We'll get a Trader. Let me get some more Velites. And over here, get an Equites. You'll get an Equites in Thurmond. I am worried about Macedonia attacking us. So hopefully they don't attack us until we can finish off at least Sparta in a couple of turns. Sparta is famous for not having any walls. So. We won't have to worry about a siege, but we will have to worry about these Spartan hoplites, which could be troublesome. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn, see what happens. Okay, they want us to take Kydonia. Ooh, Crete. And then we could get Cretan archers. Well, you have to. Cretan archers are not a unit that we can train, but we can hire them as mercenaries. And that would be really cool. Oh, it did, does look like the Julii were able to take Padavium. Nice. So let's get this fleet back. So do I want to deal with Sparta first? Or do I want to go after Crete first? I think I'm going to deal with Sparta first and then go after Crete. We have quite a few turns. So let's get these two guys in there too. And to uh, sail. get sailing. Aye, aye, we do have a Move fleet here, sir. but it's only one ship. We have three. Uh, we got a new general, Titus Brutus. I'll get a Hastati here. And we'll send. We don't need so many generals over here. Uh, we definitely want. I definitely want to get a good manager for Athens. Cassius Brutus. He doesn't really have any negative traits. We could get Aulus Brutus in Athens. Let's move him over. And how about Titus Brutus? Oh, he's gonna hurt our trade, and he has negative impact on unrest. So he's not very good for any cities, but I can leave him in Apollonia and we'll get Galerius 
down towards here as well. I'm going to train up some more Equites just in case um, Macedonia tries to attack us in Athens. Just build up some more military over here in Tarentum as well. And it'll be one more turn before we can invade Sparta. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get a barracks in Salona too, so we can treat, recruit better troops. Oh, we got a big rebel force here now, but I'm, they're not a priority for me. Priority would be Sparta, then Crete. And I think I will build another Equites in Thurman as well. We have a lot of money. We should be building troops if we can. So let's go ahead and end our turn. Oh, and there Macedonia did attack. They're attacking our navy, but we should win this. Good. Sir. I can try to make peace with Greece and see if they'll accept a ceasefire now. Good, they accepted. So we don't need to worry about Greece right now. We'll focus on Macedonia. Do I want to take Crete? I do want to take, I still want to take Crete, but I don't need a big army, do I? They just have one guy. So I could drop off this army and then send just one or two guys to take Crete. I'm going to drop them off here and move our main army out to try to relieve the siege here at Athens. We will take, I think, Cassius and an Equites. I'd like to get a Hastati as well. Maybe we can hire some mercenaries. Let's go ahead and get one Hoplite and then get them in this fleet and we'll send this fleet to go take Crete. That should do, do it. And we'll get Galerius to back up this army. And uh, we'll relieve the siege here in Athens and then try to take Corinth next. Uh, but we need to continue to build up our capital. I will go ahead and get a market, I think, or blacksmith. Market for economy. And then Croton or sewers. Let's get sewers. Oh yeah, we'll get another Hastati over here. This fleet will have to go and pick up those guys. Oh, here's a big Macedonian army over here. We might have, to, we might lose Salona to them, which would be o okay, I think. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, well, it gives us a thousand denarii a turn, so that's a lot of money. You know, I'm thinking we need to build more troops than just Velites. So instead of getting the sewers, I'd like to get maybe some stables over here. But I will get some more Velites for now. And we'll get a barracks here as well. Get more Equites. And I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. I've lost track of that big Macedonian army. Don't know where they're going. But we'll go here. Pick up our reinforcements. And get him over here. We'll leave this guy here. Just leave him in this town for now. I'm going to go high tax rates because we are at war. And we'll go ahead and fight this army first. And what has he got? Okay, let's take a look at their light, ants, light lancers. They look cool with their nice, their cool hats and their orange armbands, but I don't think they're actually as tough as my Equites. Or they might be this similar to the Equites. Gotta remember, no pausing. They're probably gonna be on top of this big hill. No, they're not. All right, I'm just going to pause it for the start, and that's it. So we'll get our infantry to start marching down. We'll get our Velites behind them. All right, we're moving out. I won't pause it again. Hey, you can see the city over here. Cool. And keep an eye on what these guys are doing. 
probably will be end up being a mostly cavalry battle but I may be able to get my infantry get them to attack my infantry let's get my Velites to run up there I'm gonna get my Hastatis to fire at will to get my flanking cavalry oh, to double time get them ahead a little bit I think that should be enough and same with my Velites. Just get them marching. Let's adjust my formation just a little bit. And also my other flanking guys. This flanking unit. Go over here a little bit. You know what? There is a hill over here. Let's get my Velites on top of the hill. Double time. Alright. No. Change my mind. Just like this. And get my infantry to march up a little bit. I'm going to send my Velites to take on this flank over here. Let's see if we can get them. Halt. I don't want them to charge just yet. I want my infantry to be closer. Okay, here they come. They're moving out. Oh, they're just adjusting. Or are they attacking? Double time. Let's go. Attack. 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 Okay, you can attack this one. You guys can attack this guy. Infantry, go ahead and charge in the middle. And Velites. Try to hit this group. Okay, we got one Macedonian cavalry. Fling, a second is fling. It's going pretty well. Let's get all my missiles to. Oh, we got their enemy general. Cease fire, halt. Infantry, cease fire. Makes a home in our enemy's hearts. And we did it. All right, really good victory. Only 19 kills. I mean, only 19 killed by them, and we got 410 kills. And this uh, army should be completely wiped out. Very good. Can't move him, but I can get a general in Athens. Who's the better manager? Amulius. Get in Athens, and we'll get a little bit more money. And uh, I can retrain my equites. Actually, can I get all my equites? in the cities in, the, in Athens and retrain all of them don't need to retrain my peasants get another equites we're I need to get a barracks so I can train Hastadis here all right we'll get this uh, invasion of Crete going oh we got ambushed by Cretan archers. Oh no! Oh wow! We fell right into an ambush. But I think we'll be okay because we've got cavalry. Our hoplites are gonna be in trouble. But I think we'll be okay. Okay. 
even though we're ambush, I guess it's not technically an ambush because there's no. We're gonna start like this because uh, it's just. We'll get this unit over here. It's just archers attacking us. So well, there's there's other units, but uh, we'll start off with a formation like this, and I will pause it at the beginning of the battle. Take a look at what they got. There's their hoplites. So they got hoplites. They got the Cretan archers. A lot of Cretan archers. I think they have Illyrian mercenaries. They're probably hiding somewhere. So we want to try to rush them. And we'll get our cavalry to flank them. And yeah, we got to be careful there. Uh, Elysian mercenaries as well. And their Cretan archers can just ra ravage us as well. Because they're. Okay, they're Sicilian pirates. They have Ilian mercenaries as well. So hopefully we'll get them to rout by taking out their Cretan archer. General? Get this cavalry to run when they start firing arrows at us we will uh, have to double time our hoplites as well and get him behind them as well as our general don't no need to run yet okay we can hit their general and hopefully get them to flee. Alright, we're gonna set these guys up in a phalanx and try to take their phalanx. Alright, let's get their creation. Wow, we're getting hit by a lot of missiles. If we can take out their general. Ah, oh, cowards! Where's their general? Cowards! You cowards, don't run. Running only helps the enemy. I need to take out their general, but I couldn't. Okay, let's see if we can help out our hoplites. Go quickly. Oh, my equities is running again. Okay, we got those guys. Can I rally again? Rally. Come on. Come on, equities. Don't be scared. They're just Cretan archers. gotta get their general. If we can get their general, that's the key to this battle. Our hoplites are doing their thing. But if we can take out their general. Where is he anyway? He's gotta be in here somewhere. This is their general. Oh, there he is. Uh, Man. Oh, there he is. Take him. Get him. The enemy general flees. Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. We got him to rout. These Cretan archers. rally just yet and how's my hoplites doing they're winning I think 
Yeah. Can you rally that group? Let's see if we can kill their general. Okay, we got those guys to rally. We gotta rescue our equities. Don't run, equities. Rally! I guess we're gonna have to do it without him. Let's kill their general. These Christian archers are just taking on our hoplites in melee? So ridiculous. Why are these equites routing? They are definitely getting decimated when we, after this battle. If that was an option. We've got hoplites. Precian archers are like... I didn't know they were so good at melee. They took out all our cavalry. And look at them. Just taking out our cavalry. Our heavy cavalry. Our general's bodyguards. As well as like, oh, they're they're taking out our hoplites. And there were there were routed. Oh my goodness! For some men, even the favor of the gods is not enough. The enemy snatched victory at the last. We killed 524. They only killed 251, but our guys were just such cowards. Disengage! Out of move, sir. I can't wow. Look at these guys. They have a 9 melee attack. They also have 7 defense. So they're actually a lot tougher in melee than I realized. I knew Cretan archers were really good. But I didn't think they were so good at melee. Wow. <laughs> we just got whooped by rebels. So let's take a look at uh, Cassius Brutus, the untruthful one-star general. He doesn't have any negative morale penalties. We would have won that battle if our equites hadn't routed. Okay, we'll get more equites in Thurman. We'll get more Hastati in Tarentum and get this Velites on the move. I don't want to build any train any more Velites. I'm gonna have to go low taxes to get our population to grow a little bit faster in Athens. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. So here's a very large Macedonian army again appeared by Salona. Maybe he'll take out these rebels for us. I don't know. I'm going to march our army over here. Who do I want leading the charge? Of course it's gonna be Amulis. He is a local hero. And I'm gonna get more equites while this barracks is uh, being built. Get this... Do we want to bring both generals? Sure, why not? He's got a wrestler. Plus one personal security. And he's been in the wars. So he's pretty tough to deal with. This is not much of an army. Uh, Levy pikemen. They got the Thracian mercenaries who have 10 attack. So let's get this army over here. And we'll get a lot of guys here to join them. I think I'm going to leave one Hestadi. How many infantry? I got plenty of infantry. So I'm going to leave these guys here and one equites and we'll send a, a Hastati and an equites to help finish off Crete March. Combining troops. I think Orders. that is my plan Fleet ready. yeah we're pretty weak Fleet ready. although they're kinda of weak too we've got a rebel navy over here to worry about can I do this? Can I land and maybe hire mercenaries? Ready. 
You think they got another ambush over here? Set sail! Off the boat! Let's hire a mercenary. Aha! Cretian archers. We got our own. We got our own. I'm gonna get I'm gonna hire these one at a time because you could get that mercenary captain. We'll get another Cretian archers and another mercenary hoplites. And we did not get the mercenary captain. So Cassius Brutus is gonna have his revenge. And these guys are just worthless. They need to be de decimated, but we'll wait till after the battle. The oh! <laughs> Whoops! Did not mean to do that. Alright. With our Cretian archers, our hoplites, and our cowardly cavalry. One militia hoplites, that's all they've got. We'll go ahead and take Crete. And get him with our hoplites. We'll get our hoplites to march forward. And get our cavalry to double time over this way. Actually, right here. They'll run. Get a nice little jog. I think I can get my Cretian archers to hit him from over here. And get my hoplites to just line up like. No, not like that. We want to be like this. And this little tiny one that I guess we're not in range okay we are in range okay you want to double time and we'll get our art our uh, cavalry And our Christian archers should be wrecking havoc on them. And archers taking aim. Okay, get our cavalry to charge. We'll hit them in the back. And they should rout pretty quickly. Cease fire. There we go. The Victory. The enemy's hearts. Oh, Rome will be amazed at such a victory. The day is ours. Oh, you know, I didn't look at the town. They've got a few buildings. I'll go ahead and enslave the population. Got this uh, gr this rebel navy. I captain. Let's see if we can get across the strait here and just land them. Actually, I'm worried about these guys. My fleet. So I'm just gonna drop them off here. We'll leave our fleet here. And we'll get this fleet to help them out. 
We'll combine the two fleets together. Let's just take out this group of rebels. We'll get our revenge on these Cretian archers. Alright, they're just down the hill here. Let's just get our archers. We're going to have an archers duel. I mean, we will send our hoplites out and our cavalry out. But we'll start off with an archers duel. We got two units to their one. They still got some hoplites left too. We'll do loose formation. Sure, we do. Other oh, hoplites are hiding. Uh, we'll go ahead and just walk. Hey, we got the high ground, so we are. We got the better range, so we're firing already. Wow, they got a long range. <laughs> they can't see them. They know they're in that general vicinity, so they're just firing. Wow, we've hit a lot of uh, the Sicilian pirates. We weren't even aiming at them, but we were able to hit them because they're just standing in the way. Well, we took out some hoplites too. They got 75 guys left. Wow! Our Cretan archers are just demolishing them. Nice. 60 guys left. Good job. Fifty guys left. Get these uh, pirates. Kill them. I think I'll go ahead and uh, send my cavalry to charge. Oh, get these guys here. And then... Let this uh, Equites get their revenge. Against these uh, Cretan archers. See if they can redeem themselves. Alright, we'll cease fire. Don't want any friendly fire. And you'll get out of formation, charge, you'll get out of formation, charge. And we'll do this the old fashioned way. Hey, there's our general. He's getting his revenge. The enemy show their true virtue. Killed their enemy general, good. Nice battle, 193 kills and uh, only 10 losses. Let's see how our equites did. They killed 14. There's only 19 of them left. Good. I think they redeemed themselves. I'm not going to uh, disband them because they've totally redeemed themselves. Good job, Equites. Although, <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing, you guys, running from Cretan archers. I might as well send my Hestades and Equites in with this group. Engage the enemy! Victory! Can I attack him here? Yes. Okay, so they've got their reinforcements from the city. Oh, mostly light lancers, one um, militia hoplites. Now I'm wondering if having that militia hoplites is going to slow down their the time they'll arrive to the battle, or if they'll just send their cavalry ahead to fight right away. Okay, let's take a look at these levee park pikemen. Not very good. 
they're actually worse than the, they got a little bit better attack than the uh, militia hoplites but way worse defense oh they got two two uh, generals in this battle so men the battle is inevitable but victory hangs in the balance do your duty as true romans and victory will be within our grasp Today we face the proud Macedonians, a nation of brave men and worthy foes. This army is fully one quarter of all our warriors. Imagine how we look to our enemies and take heart from that thought. Our people expect great things of us, and we are the men to do great things. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. We outnumber them comfortably, but that should not be seen as an excuse not to fight hard. Why let your brother carry your burden? This day we'll see much cavalry fighting. Both sides are packed with horsemen. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. The hair has been gutted, and the liver was as clear as day. Portents such as this can only be considered good. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Okay, I kind of got everybody up on this hill, and so do they. We're going to be rushing to get to the top of this hill. We'll get our cavalry up here. Their reinforcements are really far away, thankfully, because they chose this corner. Okay, I'm sending most of my cavalry up on top of this hill. We're going to try to take this hill. Oh, it looks like they're also rushing to the hill. The infantry is going to hit them from the side here. But our cavalry is rushing up the hill. And everyone is just a big, massive mess right now. But we got a couple of cavalry, we got our general, and this cavalry over here is going to be going up the hill to attack. And all of our infantry is also attacking this direction. Uh, but they're rushing to take the hills. Um, but our cavalry will get there first. And it looks like we're going to have a little cavalry duel right now. But they should route soon because we've got way more guys. Okay, they are. Let's just get you guys up here quickly. Run. Okay, we got one unit to route. They, they'll probably rally, but that's okay. We're taking the high ground with our cavalry. And what do we got over here? Thracian mercenaries. And they're rushing us over here. Uh-oh, they're going to get our Velites. But that's why I kept my kept some cavalry down here, just in case they did that. And get our infantry, get them lined up. Let's just get facing them. So we'll get these Light Lancers. Are those guys that routed already? Uh, we'll get this infant. The enemy general is running away. This is no okay. We killed one general. God be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes All right, in our let's go hearts. around here. I'm gonna send a couple cavalries to take on this light cav, and then we'll get this general over here as well. These two guys will take this. And what are these guys doing? We got our Terrarii over here. We'll have them charge. Let's get some of our cavalry down to help them. And get this cavalry over here. We'll charge these guys. And yeah, looks like we're going to hit him from the back before we hit him in the front, which is good. The 
enemy's hearts are full of now fear. they're now running they're I'm We've got their reinforcements coming let's get our infantry to line up to meet them as well as our velites and we'll mop up these guys with our cavalry so let's get all our cavalry lined up I think uh, we've pretty much got all of them only their generals bat bodyguard let's get our cavalry over here in a flanking maneuver let's get our missiles where are you guys going let's go over here double time We'll actually just send them to charge those hoplites right now. And our infantry, let's line up right here. Double time if you can. Double time. I don't know why they're sending these guys out ahead. But we'll, our Velites will make quick work on them. They don't have very good uh, defense warmed up. Some of our guys are winded. Let's uh, try to rest some guys. Alright, they're already uh, running. Let's get form up. Let's just get a cavalry. Hit them real quick. You guys Go take the flank. Okay, cancel that, cancel that. You guys are gonna cancel that maneuver. You're gonna help him out, you're gonna help him out. Nope, cancel that, cancel that. Just form up. Infantry, gotta get my infantry moving forward. Okay, there's his general's bodyguard. Get him, get him. Get him over here. And where's this general? Okay, we got both generals. Nice. We should be able to... Okay, we've routed. One, one guy is routing. But... Okay, we're going to get a rally call. There's no need to route. That's an equites again. Let's get our infantry over here. Taking this guy. Oh, they've rallied and their light lancers have rallied. Um, maybe a mistake to be taken on that guy. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Okay, now we just need to mop them up. We need to kill as many guys as we can so that we can take the city without a siege. But it's gonna be, we're not going to be able to catch their cavalry guys. But we killed their general. And we got 88%. We'll get over 90. Alright, really good victory. Hundred, uh, over 1,000 kills. Um, just 200 of our guys died. Pretty good. We had a, we had a uh, Equites route. But other than that, we did really good. But we'll see if we get the city or not. Victory! And yeah, we're going to take the city. Orders. Attack. And Victory! we're going to go ahead and enslave the population. Is Roman. Wow, we can... This city's really good. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Let's take a look at their shrine to Zeus. We'll leave that for now. We'll get a barracks first. We can retrain a lot of our guys. Let's go ahead and just merge up. That will get rid of one of our equites. So we'll train all of our equites first. Then get some Hastati. And I'm going to grab a peasant just to, for maintaining public order. Because we'll probably be marching out soon. As soon as we retrain everybody. Oh, we got a wonder. We got the statue of Zeus. 
gives a plus four bonus to population loyalty in all settlements. That's awesome. So, looking at uh, Crete over here, I think I am going to demolish the Temple of Hermes. And I'm going to get a temple to Mercury, or Shrine to Mercury. And uh, I will get a peasant. We'll, we won't leave this army here for a long time, but we'll leave it here for a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and build another uh, ship over here in Tarentum. That will help with these rebels that we're dealing with here. Thurman, uh, we'll get a port here. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Thank you for watching. Bye.